Tying a one-handed knot is very easy, as long as you remember that a overhand throw with one hand is similar to doing an index finger throw with two hands. For instance, in this orientation, the purple string is farther away from me. So if I were doing a two-handed knot, I would start with my index finger. Or if I'm doing a one-handed knot, I would do what I call an overhanded throw, which basically looks like this. Now, if I were going to tie with my right hand, a two-handed knot would start with the thumb, because both the white string and the thumb are closest to me. But if I'm going to do it one-handed, I want to do an underhand throw, which looks like this. And I'm laying down a nice square knot. So to go ahead and tie a knot, with your left hand, you're going to pinch to do the overhand throw. Uh, with your thumb and middle finger, bring your index finger right here. And then what you're actually going to do is the index finger wraps around the white string, then under and over the purple string. And then you just pull it straight through like that and lay down a nice knot. Since I did the overhand throw, which is like an index finger throw, Next, I'm going to do an underhand throw, which is like a thumb. So you grasp right here, bring the uh, suture string over your middle finger. Then the tricky part is you want to use your middle finger to duck this white string under the purple string and pinch the purple string right here between your, uh, your middle and ring finger and then bring it through. Since that was a underhand, which is like a thumb on the two-handed throw, it's thumbs up. So now you're going to bring this hand up then all the way over to complete your square knot. And then you're going to do an overhand again, where you go like this, bring the white string under, loop over, and bring the purple string down, and tie down. And then you're going to go ahead and do an underhand, where you loop over the middle finger, bring the white string under the purple string, pinch the purple string between your middle finger and ring finger, bring it through, and that's an underhand, which is like a thumb, so I have to go thumbs up with the left hand, and over to complete the square knot.